everybody, welcome back to another Quickster Games video. And today I'll be teaching you how to compile a Flutter application to your iPhone with no Mac. It's gonna be completely free of charge, and yeah, so let's get into it. The only accounts you're gonna need is a GitHub account, a CodeMagic account, and an Apple ID. So um, I think you do have to do the free developer program. Um, but I did it pretty quickly, like it didn't take me long to do it at all. But, um, yeah, you just need a free developer account, which pretty easy to get. So, now, the first thing you want to do is have your Flutter account, or your Flutter project set up. And, um, this is just the basic one that you get when you first create a project where you have to click the button. So, um, this is the project and the first thing you want to do is um, push it to your github repository so you need github this is how code magic will access your project so go to github hit new and we'll call it ios test private completely empty We'll go into Visual Studio Code and type git clone and then get this, copy that, and paste it. Hit. You see the warning? All you have to do is go to your project directory. You see where it says iOS desk test, which is the name of our repository? Go into that folder and cut the .git folder. And you can delete the other one. So you see VS Code picked that up. That's a Git repository. So now we just have to git add star star, which will add everything that's not in our git ignore. And Flutter automatically creates a git ignore for you. And then commit. Then type git push. So now you can go to GitHub and refresh. So I don't think I properly explained what Code Magic is. Code Magic is a completely free service that creates a Mac virtual machine for you to build your programs in. And it's completely free. You get 500 free minutes per month. So if you have a really big program, could be a problem, but if you upgrade your their pro, then you get unlimited build minutes and um, better hardware for it to build on, so it, the builds will be faster. But completely free for a project like this, it's completely it's amazing, perfect. So just go to CodeMagic.io, and right here you'll see a sign up option, and you want to sign up with your GitHub account, so that automatically links it. So please sign up with your GitHub account. And I'm signed in, so I'll just click Return to App. And as soon as you create your account, go to the App section, and you should see completely empty. Let's build something awesome together. So I'm going to add my first app. Click on GitHub. Select the repository. Make sure Flutter app is selected. You can build with Code Magic with all these other stuff. We'll select our iOS dash test. Click finish, add application. And now this is our application. Since we're not building for Android, we'll deselect Android. And down in build, you can change to what mode it's building for. So you can do debug or release or profile. I'll just be doing debug. Release takes a little longer to build for, um, but I'll just be doing debug in this case. I'll save the changes and start my first build. Click start new build and it will make an entire virtual machine. Download the app source, build it and upload it to you and it will either it, it will email it and pop up down here the finished binary. So if you want to actually see this map, this is I think the coolest thing in the world. Download VNC viewer. And when it's downloaded, just copy this IP, 
you colon and then the port number and it will connect make sure you click continue on the warning and the username is builder and the password is whatever this is <laughs> do that and click OK and now you're literally in the Mac you're literally in the MacBook and this is the MacBook that's actually building your thing so you can't see it but in the background it's actually compiling our app and this is what the Mac is and after compiling it will give you 20 minutes for you to mess around in it so you can like go to whatever you can go in system preferences you can do everything in this this is like a whole Mac it's just very very slow it's like if I go into Safari you can see if I move that you know that's extremely slow so I'm not gonna be doing that and but that's really cool if you want to do something with the Mac you have 20 minutes after your apps done compiling do whatever you want so I'll just close that out and disconnect or delete you know and I'll wait for the app to build it's pretty much more than halfway done now but yeah I'll just cut to when it's build builded okay so it is finished building and you can see artifacts and runner.app.zip so this is the binary just click on this and I will download it and I'll wait for it to finish downloading okay so once it is finished downloading you can go to the folder where it was built so builds and runner.app you can see this to set it up for it to be actually a runnable app on your phone you want to right click or you want to go into it and I have WinRAR which is kind of necessary for this so you might want to download WinRAR and you can see this is our app so just extract that folder and um, yeah once it is done extracting taking kind of one okay so it is done extracting now you can see the folders right here so now you're going to want to make a new folder called payload cut the runner.app and put it into payload and then what you're going to want to do is on payload right click add to archive select zip and I will name it as payload.ipa click OK and it will pretty much all it is is zipping the file but in this IPA format so IPA is an iOS app as you can see right here and it's literally just a zip file so <laughs> that's that's all it is pretty much and um, once it's in that IPA format you're ready to copy it over to your phone and this is where it gets a little weird because of Apple so <laughs> once you have it the actual binary now it's time to get on your physical phone so you want to get a charger and plug it into your PC and plug your phone into your PC and then you want to trust it all on your phone do all that stuff once you've done that you're gonna want to go in your search browser type in Filza IPA download or Filza go to here and download the IPA file and Files is a really, really good file manager um, for iOS. And so you can do this without jailbroken phone, but if you do have a jailbroken phone, all you need to do to download this, it'll save you a lot of time. Go into Cydia, search for Files, and install it from Cydia. But if you don't have a jailbroken phone, follow my steps. So regardless, of if you have a jailbroken phone or not you need to download all store so go to all store download all store.io download for windows and in all it downloads an installer so extract the zip file and run the exe and install alt installer and once you've done that you should get this when you type in alt server okay so what you need to do is once you've downloaded alt server and files up 
Um, I'll just bring it in here for convenience. You can see files as right here. What we need to do is run alt server. And down here, you can see this icon pops up. You can click on it, install alt store and iPhone. So when you install alt store, alt server, whatever, it requires you to have iCloud. So make sure you run iCloud. And when you can confirm that you have iCloud and alt server running in the background, then you will be able to do this. So click on install alt store, iPhone. And once you do this, it will install alt store onto your iPhone and it will be completely good and it will want you to enter your Apple ID so I'll just show you that right now iPhone and then just type in your Apple ID and password into here and don't worry it's trustworthy I mean I did it so if it was a virus I got hacked so like just it, it's very trustworthy and like it's completely like safe so don't get nervous about this so once you enter your Apple ID and password it should say down here give you a notification installing alt store and then if it succeeds it should say alt store finished successful so i'm going to take you over to my phone and show you what it's like when alt store has down okay so on my phone you can see alt store on my home screen so there's that right now go to settings you can't open it yet so you have to go to settings general device management and you should see your Apple ID as a developer app. Click on that and I have already trusted my Apple ID but for you you have to click on trust and then you have to click on trust again. Okay so trust your Apple ID and once you've done that you should be able to go to into alt store and open it up and this is what it looks like. So now we can install IPA files onto our phone. So the first file we are going to be downloading is fill files up. So to do that, go on the computer, type in iTunes, and something you are going to need to download is an app that allows you to access its files from iTunes and Alt Store. So in Alt Store, click on the plus icon and you should see some apps if you don't see any apps then you need to download an app that allows you to access its files and at the same time go into itunes click on that little icon file sharing and see those files so the only app that i see that i can access both in itunes and alt store is minecraft so you can see in itunes minecraft you can access the files so in iTunes, right there. In All Store, you can see I can access Minecraft. Boom, there's the files. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to copy this files the IPA file into the Minecraft directory. And then in All Store, we can just go into Minecraft folder and click on the IPA file to install it. So that's how we're going to do it. So in iTunes, take files the IPA, drag it into here. And once that is on your phone, in All Store, click on the Files of File, and it should begin to install. I think it aired. Oh, nope, it's actually working. So it says non developer Apple IDs are limited to three active apps and app extensions. Would you like to remove this app's extension so they don't count towards your limit? So I will remove app extensions so that it doesn't take up all my app IDs. And it will install files onto your phone. Just wait for that to complete, and we should be good. Okay, so once that is done, you should see Filesa is side loaded, and you can see in iTunes, Files is also here. Now, I don't think you can access. Nope, you can. So, 
here you go. Here's files up. Go on your home screen. You can see files are right here. This is a complete um, file explorer for iOS. So this is how we're going to be installing. Um, don't activate. Um, but yeah, this is all good. So you can access your applications from here. And you can see all your apps. So what I'm going to do is um, now download our binary and try to install it using files. So um, what we're going to do is on the PC, take payload.ipa, it's like Minecraft once again, copy payload.ipa through iTunes, so just copy that. Okay, and once you've done that in files, uh, go to the app, so Minecraft, documents, and you should see payload.ipa. Hold on this. Um, go ahead and, oh, not trash. Um, click, click on this. Extract. Okay, so it's going to extract the IPA file. Nope, it's good. Go into payload and take this payload and then you want to more um, and then create zip so it has zipped now we can take this and move it into here hit the paste okay you can delete the old IPA file now and rename this payload.ipa or dot zip, rename it to payload.ipa. And now go into Alt Store. You should see our payload. Click on that. And now what you will see will happen is it will actually install our app finally onto our phone. Okay, it is finally installed. And you can see iOS underscore test. Now we can finally see the mesmerizing app. We open up iOS underscore test. And boom, look at this. We can press the button. Finally. So guys, that's gonna wrap it up. That is how you put an app on an iPhone with no MacBook for completely free. So that is kind of a nightmare to do, honestly. Um, I think it'd be so much better if Apple just allowed you to compile like directly to your phone from Windows and not have to do all this weird stuff so but yeah that's it guys I hope you enjoyed please leave a like and comment in below if you have any questions um, I will edit all the like issues that came up because like when I was recording this some stuff happened um, like when I was doing it so I I have it all edited so it will work so I'll see you guys later. Bye.